The primary recording season just got started. Google Meta just announced their APM openings. And if you look up online, there are tens of thousands of product manager positions all the way to director and VP levels. However, majority of candidates out there that apply for thousands of jobs online that were never selected for an interview to show off their talent. Something must be wrong regarding how to write their product manager resume. In this video, I'm gonna give you the step-by-step -step guidance to create a killer product manager resume with a guaranteed interview opportunities. All the six secrets I share with you today is actually based on the recruiter's feedback and also uh, analytics of over 125,000 resumes out there. Make sure to stay until the end of the video to get instructions to get a free resume review with me. Hey guys, this is Dr. Nancy Lee, a direct product feature in Forbes. I've helped thousand people land their dream PM job offer in fan companies and unicorn startup and continuously get promoted as a product leader. In this channel, we cover free product management training and tech trends. Like and subscribe, check out new video every Tuesday. First of all, let's talk about six seconds rules. Recruiters on average only have six seconds to scan through any of the resume. So there is a heat map that's tracking the recruiter's eyes regarding where they look at the resume within six seconds. One is using the old traditional resume template, the other one is more professional written template. Recruiter were asked to give an easy to read score from one to seven, and it turned out the self written resumes score is only 3.9 versus 6.2 for professional written resume. So therefore, I urge everybody to really follow the top six secrets I share with you to make your resume professionally written and get reviewed by me by the end of this video. So how to make your resume professionally written? Number one, in the first session on resume, it should include your LinkedIn contact information and as well as your product portfolio. And this is a resume research based on 125,000 resume analytics and showing that the LinkedIn top of the title, if you include your LinkedIn profile, is that has much more higher interview rate. And on top of that, you should also include your product portfolio as a link right next to the LinkedIn link. It's going to increase your interview rate significantly as well. If you're not sure what is part of portfolio and what the differences between resume and product portfolio, make sure to check out this video right here where I break down the key differences between these two. I'm also going to link it in the description of this video as well. Second, you must create a strong objective on top of your resume because it's the best way to sell yourself with only two sentences. The framework to write a very concise objective is the following. It shows your title, years of experience, impact, and the future job. Here's an example of the outstanding objective. Award-winning director product with eight years product management experience in ad tech and telecom with $250 million in revenue looking for opportunities to create cutting edge product that customers love and drive user growth. This kind of objective is gonna help you stand out quickly with right impact and years of experience. Third, enrich your experience session. Everybody knows try to put your internship past job experience on the experience session. However, more than half of the candidates make the following mistakes. They put fluffy content on the resume, and this fluffy content takes away from recruiter's value. It turned out more than 51% of the resumes include buzzwords, cliches, and incorrect pronouns. I know all of you guys love to use this consultant keywords such as spearheaded, passionate, successfully doing something. All those sounds overkill for consultant who want to show off their executive leadership. However, as a product manager, those are overused passwords. It's not necessary. What really important is you must show all the right product management keywords. But it's very sad to find out that job seekers only match 51% of the job description keywords on their resume. And recently, LinkedIn also published an article saying that when they recommend job seekers with the recruiters, they mainly match the resume keywords with the job description keywords. So therefore, it's less about all the buzzwords, it's more, it's more about what exactly did you do that's relevant to your future job. If you don't know what are the product management resume keywords, you should check out this video right here. I gave you the full list of 20 different product manager resume keywords in this video right here. So I'm also gonna link it in the description of this video. The product management, typical product management keywords including go-to-market strategy, writing
creating primary requirement documentation, conduct the voice customer interviews, and all of those are critical for everybody to digest and put on your resume. And now let me give you an example regarding how to write those keywords on your resume uh, to make it natural and stand out. Design go-to-market strategy, build business models, pricing model, two to five year financial projections, and work with 40 sales and marketing reps to launch product in 10 markets. So this bullet point had very heavy on keywords such as go-to-market strategy, pricing models, and also showed cross-functional team collaborations such as leading 40 sales and marketing reps. So this kind of statement immediately attracted the recruiter's eyes and hit all the keywords based on the job description. I have invented my own way to create a product manager resume that's completely different than anyone else, which actually led me to land four product manager jobs job offers within 60 days. This specific resume template also used by 14,000 product managers and helps them to land the dream PM job offer. You should go to this website to download the free product manager resume template to enhance your keyword driven resume as well. I'm going to link it in the description of this video. Fourth, highlight achievement using measurable outcome. Now let me define those measurable outcome. If you're able to use number to define a measurable outcome, it's going to be way easier for recruiters to pick it up. Let me prove this to you using the heat match showing where recruiters eyes land on your resume. For example, on this recruiter eye tracking heat map, it's clearly recruiters are looking for those like top 10%, those number-based keywords, those number-based achievement on your resume. And recruiters also love to read the job titles and years experience, and also the upper session of your each of your experience. So therefore make sure to move the most important achievement towards the upper session of your uh, experience block. But it's quite sad to find out that among the research of over 125,000 resume research, a 59% resume had less than three quantifiable results. Now let me teach you how to add more impact with quantifiable results on your resume. Here is an example how would I write on my resume. Created proposals and presentations of robotics, which led to $1 million in funding as the first early stage funding to accelerate growth of the startup from three to seven people. With Just within one sentence, I was able to use two quantifiable results to prove that I am outstanding compared with other candidates. You should try to do the same as well. Number five is education. If you're a fresh graduate, you can move education on the top of your resume before the experience session. But if you're a professional hired like myself, you should move education after experience session because it's kind of a long time ago when you went to school anyway. And education should make it simple if you're experienced hired, it should include the school, when did you graduate and major. And there's a special trick, if you're laid off, or you graduated a long time ago, or you have a career gap, you need to hide your years of experience. And I have a separate video where I break down how exactly you need to talk about your years experience and hide your career gap, and then talk about your career gap and the layoff experience. I'm gonna put the uh, video right here and also link it in the description of this video. Number six are the skill session. Skill session is quite important because skill session helps to enhance the number of keywords you show up on your resume as well. Well, so on your skill session, you should include the product management skills and also technical skills. Now is the best time to implement everything I tell you right now using the professional written resume template. To get ready for your upcoming recruiting session, make sure to implement all the six strategies I share with you today and use the product manager resume template that been used by 14,000 product managers to land your next guaranteed job interviews. I'm going to link it in the description of this video. Now here's a bonus session. If you want to get your resume professional review by me, make sure to comment resume review in the description of this video and I'm going to share with you the instructions to receive the zoom link to join me for your free resume review right away so that you are getting ready for your upcoming recruiting session with a guaranteed interview. Make sure to also check out this video where I talk about the resume tips and tricks, especially people with no experience in product management. If you find this video very helpful, make sure to like and comment, subscribe to the channel. And this is Dr. Nancy Lee from PMAccelerator.io. I'll see you in my next video right here.